In this video, we're going to look at how to make sure that we're working all the way into the ends of our piece. If you don't make it all the way into that last stitch, you may notice that your piece begins to have a bit of a diagonal. You're decreasing. You're not actually working all of the stitches that you're supposed to. So my best and favorite method for making sure that you're getting all the way to that edge stitch is to use an interlocking stitch marker. So I have that edge stitch marked here and I'm gonna show you how to do it down here. So we have two stitches left. So I'm going to work to the end here. And then when I am ready to turn and work in the other direction, I'm gonna chain one. I will turn and I'm actually going to clip that marker into the chain that's on my hook. All right, now I'm gonna continue working down. So I'm gonna single crochet, so I'm just gonna work my way and I will notice that that stitch, my edge stitch, my ending stitch is now marked with that marker because we placed it in that chain one. So let me show you that one more time. I'm taking back to the end of that row. So we so I just finished that last single crochet. I'm going to chain one and turn. And before I do anything, I'm going to pick up that marker and I'm going to clip it in to the chain that's on my hook. And then I will just begin to single crochet down the row. And I notice that because I clipped that marker into that, that chain that was on my hook, that very edge stitch is now marked. So I have both of my edges marked. And I know that when I get all the way down here, I'm gonna make sure that I'm gonna work under both strands of that V. And when I get all the way back to here, I'll work under that. This method works um, this way for the single crochet and half double. When we get to the double crochet and triple, I will show you a more um, specific way of doing that because it's just a little bit different. So this is the method you're gonna to wanna to use for single crochets and half doubles.